Science 5, Quarter 1, Week 6 Steps in a Simple Scientific Investigation Revise K-12 Curriculum with me, Teacher KMT Good day, kids! Today, we will learn about Steps in a Simple Scientific Investigation Here are the possible objectives for today's lesson Number 1 Identify the steps of a simple scientific investigation and Number 2. Plan a simple scientific investigation using the guide questions Activating prior knowledge Short review Science skill Which one do you possess? Recall the different scientific process skills you learned so far from previous lessons Identify which science process skill is being demonstrated in the examples given below. Number 1. Using a ruler to measure the length of a pen in centimeters. What is the correct answer? Great! Measuring Number 2. Telling your friend that she has been under the sun since she's been sweating. What is the correct answer? Awesome! Inferring Number 3. Placing all rocks having a certain grain size or hardness into one group. What is the correct answer? Good job! Classifying Number 4. Describing the change in height of a plant over time through a graph. What is the correct answer? Correct! Communicating Number 5. Describing a pencil as brown. What is the correct answer? Great! Observing The science process skills are defined as Number 1. Observing it means utilizing the senses to gather information about an object or event. Number two, inferring. Making uneducated guess about an object or event based on previously gathered data or information. Number three, measuring. Using standard or non-standard measures to describe the dimension of an object or event. Number 4. Communicating Describing an action, object, or event using words or graphic symbols Number 5. Classifying Grouping or ordering objects of events into categories or groups based on properties or criteria Number 6. Predicting Stating the outcome of a future event based on a pattern of evidence. Lesson Purpose Now that you have recalled the science process skills, which of these skills do you think you possess? You may use these skills in conducting a scientific investigation. Now, let me ask you. Number 1. What do you usually do when you encounter a problem? Number 2. Do you know that by using your science process skills, you can conduct a scientific investigation in such a manner that you can solve a problem? Now this part is to be guided by your actual teacher.
Unlocking Content Vocabulary Unlock the terms to be used in this lesson using the definition and example. Unscramble the letters to form the correct word. Let's start! Scrambled word number one. Something that causes difficulty or that is hard to deal with. Example, she did not attend the dance practice causing the formation during the dance presentation to be disrupted. What is the correct answer? Correct! Problem! Number 2. A physical substance that things can be made from matter. Example, a pot made up of clay. What is the correct answer? Good job! Material Number 3. The sequence of steps or actions follow to conduct an investigation systematically or in an organized manner. Example, making a pancake includes gathering the ingredients and then combining them with proper measurement. Next, pour the butter into the pan, wait for a few minutes and flip it. What is the correct answer? Awesome! The correct answer is procedure. Number 4. The outcome or findings obtained from conducting an investigation. Example, a fluffy pancake was made by combining flour, milk, and egg. What is the correct answer? Good job! The correct answer is result. Number 5. An operation to discover something unknown or to test a principle. Example, testing whether the rust on the nail can be removed or not. What is the correct answer? Great! The correct answer is experiment. Explicitation. Together, let us read the story, The Mysterious Case of the Disappearing Ice Cubes. In the small town of Frostville, where everything is usually cold and frosty, something strange is happening. Ice cubes from the town's storage room seem to be disappearing faster than usual. The town's folk are puzzled and concerned. What could be causing this mysterious disappearance? The curious kids of Frostville think that it might have to do with the sunlight. They decided to conduct an investigation to solve the mystery of the vanishing ice cubes. First, they collected several ice cubes from the freezer and placed them in separate cups or bowls and placed them in different parts of the village. Others inside their houses, while the rest were placed outside. Then, they started the timer and observed how long it took for each ice cube to melt completely. As each ice cube melts, they record the time it takes to melt completely and any observations they make during the experiment. After all the ice cubes have melted, they gather their data and analyze it to see if there are any patterns or trends. Through their scientific investigation, the kids of Frostville discovered several interesting findings. They noticed that ice cubes placed in warmer areas melt faster than those in cooler areas. Ice cubes in direct sunlight melt faster than those in the shade. With these observations and findings, they conclude that the disappearing ice cubes are likely due to environmental factors such as increased temperature and exposure to sunlight. 
they communicated their findings with the whole Frostville community. Armed with their newfound knowledge, they come up with strategies to prevent the ice cubes from melting too quickly in the future, ensuring that Frostville stays cool and frosty all year round. Processing Questions Number 1. Did the kids of Frostville uncover the reason why the ice cubes vanish? Good job! Yes! Number 2. How do you think they were able to solve the mystery? State them step by step. Good job! They team up and check out the clues one at a time, like following a recipe, to figure out why the ice cubes were disappearing. Step by step First, they took a good look at the problem. They saw the ice cubes were vanishing and wanted to know why. Then, they come up with ideas of what might be causing the ice to disappear. Next, they put those ideas to the test. After the experiments, they check their results. Did their ideas match what they saw was happening? Finally, once they figured out the real reason, they explained it to everyone in Frostville and tried to come up with a solution to the problem. Number 3. What science process skills have they exhibited in conducting their investigation? Correct! The science process skills such as observing, inferring, measuring, predicting, and communicating. Let us now understand the science process skills exhibited in conducting the investigation in the story. Number 1. Observing The townspeople and children notice that ice cubes are melting faster than usual. The kids observe how ice melts in different locations, like inside houses versus outside in sunlight. Number 2. Inferring The children infer that sunlight and temperature may be cause of disappearing ice cubes based on their initial observation. They conclude that environmental factors are influencing the melting rates. Number 3. Measuring they use a timer to record how long it takes each ice cube to melt in different locations. They likely track temperature differences between locations even if indirectly. Number 4. Predicting The kids predict that ice cubes placed in warmer or sunnier spots will melt faster than those in cooler or shaded areas. Their predictions guide where they place the ice cubes for testing. Number 5. Communicating After analyzing their data, the kids share their findings with the whole Frostville community. They explain the results and suggest solutions to reduce rapid melting. Work Example to be guided by your actual teacher.
Lesson Activity to be guided by our actual teacher. Learners take aways to be guided by our actual teacher. Reflection on learning to be guided by our actual teacher. Evaluating learning to be guided by your actual teacher. Well done, kids! What have we learned today? Today, we learn about the science process skills. Number one, observing. Number two, inferring. Number three, measuring. Number four, predicting. And number five, communicating. Thank you for listening. I hope you have learned. Please do not forget to click the like, share, and subscribe.